Hey guys, welcome to How Nifty. Don't ask me why someone would bring an $85,000 camera on a water slide. Apparently, the reason it's so expensive is because it shoots 1500 frames per second. I guess he could have used a drone or a GoPro to achieve pretty much the same shot, but at the end of the day, it looked like a pretty fun experience and I hope the insurance wasn't too bad. If you want to see the final shot from the $6,000 drone, I hate to break it to you, but all of this was actually CG. I gotta go. Maybe you were able to tell straight away, but the thing that gave it away for me was the weird blur at the very beginning. Here's a pretty nice life hack, which allows you to put a teleprompter right in front of the camera lens. My guess for how this works is the camera's shallow depth of field, which is probably why it doesn't pick up the reflection. Some people in the comments were saying that you could see the reflection of the text in the person's eye. Honestly, I don't think anyone is paying that much attention. So after he wouldn't let me take an Amber Heard turn in the bed, it was the final straw, you know? It led me to do this and look in the divorce. What? Looking at a force? What, you, you, what is me, this? You led me to this! You drove me to this! <laughs> apparently this whole thing was a skit, and uh, I don't know if you caught that, but apparently she was talking about not being able to take a turd in the bed. I just found that really funny, and the reaction of the camera guy was totally priceless. If my film crew isn't training like this, I don't want them. Here's a behind the scenes look at how they filmed Snoke from Star Wars The Last Jedi. Wrongly. Closer, I said. Andy Serkis, the guy in the mocap suit, is honestly a legend. He's pretty much perfected it at this point. And spoiler alert, I was genuinely disappointed when they killed his character off so quickly in the actual film. If you don't like horror movies, watching the behind the scenes honestly makes it so much better. This was how they pulled off some of the rope stunts in the first Conjuring. I wish I could become a stunts person just to do this because it looks so much fun. Yeah, Tell me what's more impressive, the mountain biker or the guy running behind him with an iPhone. Here's how they film blood splatter scenes in Hollywood. Not to mention, giving the actor something to actually hit, like a tire, definitely makes it easier to feel the moment. I've always imagined behind the scenes being so much more funny for the people actually involved. Sometimes it's the things that you don't see in the final movie that makes the experiences so memorable. What would you yell if you were doing this scene? If it was me, I would be telling you to watch the 17 year old who created the backrooms as the next video. And hopefully I'll see you there.